pass fast. We deliver food, cash, cargo, and more. Pass fast. Here's your weekly Sansar Baguio news bits. A look at this week's headlines. Miss Universe Philippines to visit Benguet. Cars COVID cases remain moderate. Beneco lights up at Oxichos. Chico Heroes Memorial up for demolition. More tourists this December. And in sports, athletes to be featured in athletic bowl murals. And for the details. Benguet Governor Meltro de Class during the Interagency Task Force for COVID-19 meeting on Tuesday announced more than 50 candidates for Miss Universe Philippines is set to visit the province. This report from Loren Alimundo. The chief executive said the candidates will visit Benguet on October 15 and 16 to promote the province through a photo shoot in various areas in La Trinidad, such as the provincial capital, Strawberry Fields, and Mount Costa. He explained that their visit will be done by batches and is being coordinated with Philippine National Police to ensure proper health protocols. The program, an initiative of Benguet caretaker and Axie IS party list representative, Congressman Eric Goyap. After several postponements due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Miss Universe Philippines Coronation Night was later moved on October 25. Lauren Alamondo, San Star Baguio. Despite the recent spike of COVID-19 cases in Baguio City, the Health Department in the Cordillera considers the region at moderate risk compared to other regions in the country. This report from Jonathan Yanis. Dr. Ruby Constantino, DOHCAR Regional Director, said although the city has increased in cases, Compared to its positivity rate with the percentage of individuals tested, Baguio City has a lower positivity rate. She added Kalinga Province may have a low number of individuals tested but has a higher positivity rate, pointing out the summer capital's conduct of more tests shows effective contact tracing. The city has a positivity rate of around 2% compared to the 3.9% positivity rate in Kalinga Province. Out of the 76 municipalities in the region, 62 recorded confirmed cases with clustering was noted among uniformed personnel, hospital and isolation units, households, supermarkets, cargo companies, and banks. As of Thursday, September 8, DOH car recorded 2,032 COVID-19 cases in the region. Jonathan Llanes, Sunstar Baguio. We'll be back after a short break. Out here, you need to be purpose-built, race-tuned, and ready to perform. This is the first ever Ford Ranger Raptor. It's born ready for anything. The Benguet Electric Cooperative with the municipality of Atok and community stakeholders celebrated the electrification of Sichos Posongan, Talmod at Barangay Topdak. This report from Maria Elena Katahan. Bineco officer in charge and general manager engineer Melchor Likoban said both areas will now be able to enjoy the benefits of electricity. Atok Mayor Raimundo Sarak said the electrification program is a partnership with communities, the town, and Bineco, citing electricity will mean progress and a lowering of crime. The project cost 1.9 million pesos. Bineco has identified 642 sitios in the Benguet province for energization under the national government through the National Electrification Administration. 
the government has spent around 233 million pesos in the implementation of the program in Baguio and Benguet, while 310 sitios are due for funding with an estimated cost of 168.6 million pesos. Maria Elena Catahan, Sunstar Baguio. The Department of Public Works and Highways confirmed that the monuments of Chico Dam heroes Makriing Dulag, Pedro Dungok, and Lumbaya Gayudan encroaches the road right of way of the National Road in Bugnay Tinglayan and is up for demolition. The Cordillera People's Alliance issued an alert on plans by the Provincial Advisory Council of the Kalinga Provincial Police Office which requested the Provincial Board Committee on Oversight to enact a resolution to remove the monuments. In 2017, the CPA commissioned architect Vlad Longid and solar artist Jordan Mangosan to conceptualize and design and work with over 50 individuals from the community to set up the symbolic markers. Mang Osan said the planned demolition would mean a total waste of art and culture, as well as the significance of the markers to pay tribute to the Chico River struggle. Juliet Aban of the DPWH Regional Information Office confirmed that the Upper Kalinga District Engineering Office decision issuing the construction of the monument is illegal as it is situated 4.10 meters from the center line of the road with the monument encroaching on the national road. She said notices were given on the move. The DPWH said coordination on which agency will conduct the demolition is still ongoing. The monuments were built by the CPA after 17 years of planning and coordination with the community and organizations after the request of Makliing Dulag's son, Francis Makliing, back in 2000. Mayor Benjamin Magalong remains positive the city can accommodate more visitors by Christmas season. This report from Jovin Peralta. Magalong said the opening of city borders to Ilocos tourists will be a test for the city. The mayor added, resumption of buses will mean better tourism for the city, admitting mass transportation is crucial. Bus operators, on the other hand, lamented the imposition of a one-meter distance will not cover the operational costs if they resume in these circumstances. Magalong stated, the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board and the Department of Transportation argumented transmission inside vehicles should be made into a study and presented to the Interagency Task Force. As of October 4, Baguio has logged 124 travel requests with 50 from Ilocos Region, 33 from the National Capital Region, 22 from Central Luzon, 12 from Calabar Zone, 2 from Central Visayas, four from the Cordillera region, and one from the United States. Joven Peralta, Sunstar Baguio. And in sports, Cordillerans who carved outstanding marks in the world of mixed martial arts lead the layouting of two murals titled Heroes, Portrait of the Baguio Cordillera Athletes at the Baguio Athletic Bowl. This report from Jeannie Cole Cortez. The first mural, dubbed Heroes, Legends, features athletes who competed and hold medals from the Olympics, Asian Games, and Southeast Asian Games. It will be painted at the walls of the long stage dugout of the Baguio Athletic Ball. The second mural are portraits of the champions of MMA, mostly from the famous Team Lakai. It is an acrylic on cement at the walls near the former tourism office inside the Athletic Ball. The two artworks are sponsored by Davis Paints and will be featuring artists Eliza Consul and Gladys Ann Labsan. The athletes will also be featured in a photo exhibit at the Baguio City Hall lobby with them wearing the traditional attires of their respective indigenous peoples groups or tribes. This is part of the observance of the Indigenous Peoples Month this October. Ginico Cortez, Sunster Baguio. Congratulations to this week's winner of a smart pocket Wi-Fi. Join us again as we host our Facebook contest every week and get a chance to win exclusive Sansar Baguio merchandise, a Sansar Baguio mug, a Sansar Baguio face mask, and more. For more updates, visit us at our website and our official social media accounts.
Working from home in Baguio City, this is Conway Copas, reminding you to grab a copy of Sunstar Baguio, the only daily newspaper in Northern Luzon.